Hello, Coach Williams. Welcome to Atlanta. Um, just uh, looking at your bio, um, and are now in the uh, WASH Minority Coaching Program. Uh, take us through that and how uh, your careers proceeded, kind of like they had envisioned the program would work. Well, hey, uh, nice meeting you, Daryl. Um, you know, the, the Bill Walsh program is something I hold dearly to my heart. You know, I got the opportunity to intern in 13 and 14 with uh, the Chicago Bears and then 15 with the Detroit Lions. And it was a great opportunity for myself to, one, learn how the NFL organizations ran, you know, both on and off the field. And it was an opportunity, too, for myself as a coach to bring those tools to the uh, program that I was working or coaching with the University of South Dakota. But while I was there, I worked with, you know, a lot of mentors of mine, you know, starting with Joe D. Camillus, Mel Tucker um, was one of them that pushed me to, you know, put, go to the NFL level and, and try my best to, you know, coach at the highest level. And another guy was Jim Caldwell that I hold dear to my heart. And he did a great job of helping me and influencing me to get better as an individual both on and off the field you know so from those opportunities doing them three consecutive uh, years like during training camp and otas and then you know to move forward and get the opportunity in 2016 to you know interview and get an nfl job you know something that it means a lot to me and you know i try to push you know other minority coaches that are in the college or high school level to um, take full advantage of that opportunity and go and coach at the highest level you know one thing too daryl like uh, jim caldwell he flew me out there during OTAs or during phase two of a uh, 2015 season off season. And I sat down and I interviewed with him for two hours. And, you know, I didn't know until after the fact, after I got the internship, he's like, you know why I put you through the interview process. And I was like, why for the internship? He's like, no, this will be an NFL uh, interview. And I want you to get experience at it. And that helped me in 2016, you know, with, with that, uh, with my first NFL interview with the San Diego Chargers. So, you know, both on and off the field, it was an opportunity just to go out there and coach my butt off and, and, you know, provide, you know, information and tools for the college players I was coaching at the University of South Dakota. And, you know, you'd rather be prepared without the opportunity than prepared, unprepared with the opportunity. So, you know, I just try my best to, you know, use all those tools as a coach and for my mentors to put myself in that position to, you know, help others get better. And what do you hope to uh, bring to the units here in Atlanta? What were your philosophies, be when we see, uh, you know, you had a great return game in Detroit. Uh, they need that here. Uh, what do you want your units to look like as the coordinator of the special teams? You know, number one, you know, it's going to be about the men in that room, our players. You know, the players, they'll bring the calls to life. And it's going to start with, you know, having high effort. You know, great players are made from great effort. So seeing those guys go and, you know, and play with great effort from the beginning of the snap, wherever the ball's kicked to the end of the whistle. And the other thing is the mindset, just the attitude and that they bring to the, you know, bring to the table when it comes to on the field, in the meeting room, once we walk into the building. It's all, all the guys in there, they understand this. We don't have to do this. We get to do it. And it's a privilege. So just having that mindset of, you know, being able to go out there, play and, you know, want to be able to be dominant. And then lastly, we want to be great with our fundamentals. All right. You know, both, you know, when it's in the kicking game or it's in the return game coverage or, you know, return game. We're going to be great. With our fundamentals play mean and clean football. So we want to be mean with our tech, our, you know, with our technique and be physical. But we're going to play within the rules of the game and use great fundamentals because that's going to be key for us. If, if all 11 men could do that on the field, including our specialists, I think we're going to be in a great, we're going to like the outcome at the end of the season. Tori McElhaney, The Athletic. Hi, Coach. It's very nice to meet you. Um, I've been told to go back and pull up the Lions tape from the past season that any tape that I see of your coverage units that the team tackles very well. And I was just curious kind of how your time coaching defense at various stops in your career and with the Chargers uh, ha has impacted your philosophy as a special teams coordinator now? Oh, yes, Tori. And it's nice to meet you. Um, you know, I started off as a defensive coach and then got into the special teams world. And, you know, being a special teams coach, you're coaching an offensive position and a defense position. Anytime we're in coverage, you know, we're trying to eliminate scores and try to get the ball back. Our intentions when we're covering is trying to get the ball back for our offense and putting our offense in great field position. And then, you know, um, so when it comes to that, you know, when it comes to like one of the biggest things I think that helped me was coaching D-line. You know, I coached D-line for three years, my last three years in uh, in college. And that really 
put an emphasis on teaching pad level, hand placement, you know, footwork, you know, running through contact rather than running to contact. So all those things really help me as a special teams coach. And I try to correlate what we do as a team, whether it's, you know, with the defensive coaches on staff and trying to correlate that and make sure we have the same, you know, uh, vocabulary, uh, philosophy when it comes to tackling, whether it's in space or in close quarters, and also to taking the ball away. So those are things that we try to carry over. So when we're in the classroom, we're efficient with our teaching. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, my next question was just kind of going through this, this whole process. How did you and Arthur Smith first cross paths and kind of what made you want to come to Atlanta and be a part of his staff? You know, I was, you know, I want to thank Arthur Smith too for the opportunity. Um, I got a call from him not too, you know, not too long after he got the job, and you know we spoke over the phone and you know did my interview with him, and it was great because you know his philosophies that I believe wholeheartedly in his philosophies and what he believes, and you know have helping our team grow and involve. You know one thing he talks about is you know our team going into OTAs will be a different team by the time we finish. You know, training camp. And then by the time we finish training camp, our team will be different by the time we finish the end of the season. And that's a big correlation to what special teams is. You know, we're dealing with the back half of the roster, some starters on offense and defense, and it's going to fluctuate throughout the season. So if we have those, you know, if we have a base fundamentals of who we are and what we're about, having players understand the why, what we're doing, inspiring the players and motivating them within respect of the game, you know, that's gonna that's gonna help us in the long run. So, you know, philosophy wise, we met eye to eye when it came to a lot of those different teaching modalities, which I thought was awesome. And when talking about the roster and how we envision the roster down the road and how we wanna play special teams. And then not only that, how special teams can help impact the offense and defense, you know, just playing complimentary football and then offense and defense complement the special teams and being able to tie that all together, win in situational football to put our team in the best position to have a great outcome at the end of the game. Um, so, you know, those those conversations are great. Uh, I'm excited to work with Coach Arthur, you know, Arthur Smith. Um, I, I, he's an amazing individual, uh, one of the best men I've been around with so far, you know, just talking with him for, you know, the times that we've spoken over the phone and via Zoom uh, has been phenomenal and I can't wait to get in the building with him. Charles Odom, Associated Press. I uh, just to follow up on that, and welcome to Atlanta, by the way. Thanks, uh, Charles. Just to follow up on that, um, obviously, as we've seen um, Arthur Smith building the staff, we we see some um, commonalities of, of 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 you know coaches that he's been with at, at, at Tennessee, and obviously uh, you don't have that, but I'm wondering if there was somebody that uh, behind the lines that maybe was a common denominator in, in, in your coaching past that maybe gave him a referral, you know, about you. Yes. Um, you know, my first year in the league was 2016 with the San Diego Chargers at the time. And um, I interviewed for a special teams coordinator at the time. His name is Craig Ackerman, and he's now the special teams coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. Um, he's also, too, one of my mentors. He was awesome to work with because he involved me with the entire game plan and all six phases of special teams. And we spent a lot of time with each other in the room, really game plan and evaluating our opponents, evaluating our team. Um, so that's a guy that's, that's really close to my heart. And, you know, I give a lot of credit to him in, in getting me into the NFL and, and teaching me the way of how to be a great coach both on and off the field. Um, so that was a guy that we, we share, you know, a common friendship with. And, you know, so it kind of took off from there and then getting the opportunity to sit down, uh, you know, via Zoom to talk with Arthur and, you know, talk about his um, his goal and what he sees and envisions for the Atlanta Falcons. I also wanted to ask you uh, about Brandon Powell. Um, you guys, I guess, spent some time together in 2019 there yes, in Detroit. Sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, BP, I call him. Um, love that dude. Uh, I love, you know, the way he plays the game. He's a fearless runner, you know. Um, he has great short area quickness. I love his mindset and his temperament, which he plays with. You know, I, I consider him a dog on the field, uh, you know, and he's always been, you know, I have that history with them. So, you know, it's, it's been fun to work with him in Detroit, you know, and then, you know, you know, those personnel decisions when it gets down the road, that'll be based on Arthur and uh, Terry on how they want to, you know, you know, put together the team. But, you know, he's a he's a solid and really good returner in the NFL. And I, I'm excited to see him play. Jason Butt, AJC. Hey, Coach. Uh, welcome to Atlanta. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah. So uh, 
wanted to, to ask you, you know, what, what was it about the, the return scheme that you had there in Detroit that led to those three return touchdowns the past two years? You know, you know, I'll say this, you know, we had playmakers on the field. You know, the returner we had was Jamal Agnew, and he's a he's a dynamic returner. He's a fearless runner. He could get north south immediately. But when you ask Jamal, if you speak to him one on one, he'll tell you that it was the other 10 men on the field, you know, doing their job. And that's big in my eyes and our, our team's vision, you know, is doing our job. If, if guys could do their job and make plays, blocking in space. It's going to we're going to get yards. And then after that, we see what we like in the permit turn game. We're looking at, hey, if we could get 10, if we could get 10 at least, then whatever happens after that happens. But it goes back to what I was saying, Jason. Great plays are made from great effort. And it's not only the returner. It's guys blocking downfield. And, and those are always great to watch because when we get, our, get the opportunity to pull those plays up and watch it again, we're pulling out multiple clips of guys and multiple uh, individual matchup, matchups in that play where guys as we're winning great effort. You know, the last game we uh, had a, a touch return for hey, not in the line of scrimmage, started down, and then we allowed our returner to one, secure the football, and then do what he's best at, making people miss in space and, and getting vertical with the football. So those are things that we push, and obviously we got to work that at practice. You know, we got to provide the players those tools at practice, working those basic fundamentals, blocking in space, the different blocking angles, leverage, in phase, out of phase. So when we get in the game, our guys are able to be confident and do it at a high level. And uh, you, know, you guys got to play against Atlanta this year. Um, yes, sir. Are there any, so Sterling Hoffrick there was, was a rookie this past year. Uh, you know, what are the areas you believe he can improve at? Uh, and and what would, are you excited to get to work with him this year? Uh, uh, you know, once, once you're, you're on the field and at practice. Yeah, I'm, I'm always excited to get guys better at their, you know, their fundamentals and their techniques. Um, there'll be some t like so some little tweaks that we'll work on. I mean, he has talent and he has a talented leg. It's just getting him be more consistent with that leg, and, you know, with those basic fundamentals. So that's something that we'll dive deeper in once we get back in the building, once we start our you know offseason regimen. But I'm excited to get the opportunity to see how he advances throughout this offseason. Thanks. Kelsey Conway, AtlantaFalcons.com. Hey, Coach, uh, just wondering, what are some of the things that you're most looking forward to joining Arthur Smith's staff for? You know, and I think the overall the opportunity to grow as a coach, you know, and then, you know, his vision that he has for the team and seeing it, you know, how it's going to grow from, you know, off from the off season to training camp, the training camp to the season. And the staff that we're putting together is a, it's a great staff. And I'm excited to be in, in the room with all those guys and how we're going to complement each other, you know, in all phases of the game and how we're going to you know, complement our team and our players and how we're going to get these guys better. Um, it's always about growing, you know, our job, everybody's servants in, on this planet, you know, just so happen football is our platform to serve and help these players. And without players, there's no coaches. So, you know, be, being in the Players League, getting on the same page with all of our coaches, everybody off the field, our support staff, everybody that's in the building, and um, our personal staff as well, and being able to put our best team out there. And then seeing that team grow throughout the season, that's the part I'm most excited for.